Mustafi to Roma. Come on. All Arsenal fans ever talk about is how much this guy sucks. And Roma's like, we'll take him. A Cardi to stay at Inter. Mother What is going on everyone? Enzo here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I got the green screen back up and running. I think it's pretty solid. The quality seems all right. It's, uh, you know, for what I'm working with here. I think I did. This is literally a piece of felt. It's not even a green screen, but I think it's pretty solid for now. Anyway, I saw a lot of you guys talking about um, you wanted me to do longer videos, 20 to 25 minutes. So I think I may, I guess the only reason I was doing the 10 minute videos is because I didn't think anyone really wanted to watch a 20 to 25 minute video for me at this point being such a new you know so new to youtube i figured i should just go at 10 and uh, as i got a bigger audience i'd go longer but maybe it's better the other way because a few of you seem like you wanted longer videos so i guess we'll do that um so we're gonna go ahead and oh like i was saying in the intro what is it now Accardi is gonna stay at inter i don't know what conti is gonna do with him i thought it was gonna be lukaku and maybe martinez up there but i think after the jeco deal fell through and Inter never really brought that second striker in and then they couldn't really sell a Cardi on because he's a pain in the ass so I don't know I guess he's gonna stick around so we already sold him in the series because it sounded like he was uh virtually gone already so I don't know what we're gonna do about that I guess he's gone for now but it sounds like Inter may be bringing in Alexis so uh, maybe we'll try to bring him in in the winter window I guess but in the meantime we're gonna go ahead and jump into this match versus Lazio. Uh, first, if you guys can, go ahead and subscribe and uh, give the video a like, please. I'm really trying to get this thing going. I know people don't care about FIFA 19 anymore, but I'm still trying to get better at YouTube and work on it, so this is as good as opportunity as any, so I'm trying to get this up and running, but uh, let's go into this match versus Lazio. All right, let's take a look at Lazio Merda's lineup. Who do they got in here? They got Luis Alberto, had an excellent season last year. Parolo, Caicedo up front, looks like Immobile is out. There's the legend, Handanovic. Maybe not a legend, but... Oh, I guess he's a legend of sorts. Inter-legend, maybe? Slovenian legend? Let's go ahead and look at our... Let's go and look at the winning team's lineup. We still have our first squad in. We're, we're getting a little bit tired, but... You know what? We're going to stick with our lineup versus Lazio, because our next game we got Genoa. I think we'll put in the, the second-tier squad for that, but we got our beast lineup in right here. Our back line is awesome. Midfield's pretty solid. I think we need we need to replace Azimbo, I think is going to be the most pressing issue. Solid player, but I think we could use another top-class wing back, and that'll fill out our squad in, in the winter. Or whoever else you guys think. We'll play it by ear. Stolen early, Lukaku into the big man. Jekko, the Bosnian bomber. Brozovic, out to Azamoa. Quadwo. Lukaku's open in the middle. On his left. Takes it. Oh, Jekko's open. On his right foot. Shoots the green screen debut. Saved by Proto. Jekko, you totally blew it for everyone. Come on, bro. All right, we don't need to see the replay. The goalie saved it. Let's get this one into Lukaku in the middle. Where is the big man? Where are you, big man? Ah, they get it out. Skriniar back in. Azamoa. Bullet down to his left. Proto again. I don't know who this guy is. I gotta look this guy up. Do you guys know who Proto is? I gotta look him up in a minute and see who he is. I don't know if they still have Strakosha in game. By the way, one of the most underrated goalies in the world is Strakosha. In, uh, Lazio's goalie. If you guys don't know who he is, I wouldn't be surprised if he moved on to a bigger team at some point. And the corner, right at the keeper. Let's win the ball back. The high pressing style. Let's adjust some tactics. Team press, baby. The modern game is all about that team press. Teams that the, the teams that win are the teams that press the ball so well. Press that high press, high tempo, high up the pitch. Just go, go, go. Always trying to win the ball back. Jekko. I think that's such a big part of Liverpool's success. Other than the fact they have world-class players all over the place, but... You can have world-class players, and if you don't have the right tactics, it doesn't matter. Klopp is such an amazing manager. Not that it takes me to confirm that, but Jekko! Kia's on the wing! Shoot! Hey! Shoots and scores! Right into the corner! Kiesa! It's a lot more exciting to score. I'm, I'm glad I put the green screen up. It's a lot more exciting to... To get pumped while you're playing with the green screen on instead of the 
to play and then commentate afterwards when you already know what happened. This is more fun for me, honestly, too. Chiesa bullet into the bottom corner, right by the keeper. Into the back of the Olonian bag, if anyone remembers Tommy Smith. Antonio Conte is pumped. Yes, I know that's not Conte. I know that's just the generic manager, but Conte is obviously with Chelsea in this game. I don't think you can trade managers. If any, Can you do that? I don't think so. If anyone knows how to do that, let me know. Or at least take a manager and put him from one team to another. Can you do that? Oh no, Handanovic! So this is the problem too with the green screen, or, or recording live at least, as you start talking and you stop paying attention to, to actually playing. Oh, Jekko Lukaku started the run, stopped. It's a lot easier to play when you're not worried about trying to be as entertaining as you can, or at least somewhat interesting. Vecino. Over to Barella. Nicolo. 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 I can never pronounce that properly. My, my wife is uh, a native Italian speaker, and she always makes fun of me for how I pronounce Nicolo. I never pronounce it properly, apparently. I feel like I'm saying it right, but I guess not. <laughs> Barella. Lukaku. Chiesa. Here's the second goal of the game, Brutto! Couldn't get the right angle on it. Out for a corner. It's out for a corner. Chiesa turned him right at the goalie. Brozovic, Barcelo. Gonna wing this one in. Dzeko, the Bosnian bomber! Into the top corner, he shoots and scores! He does not shoot and score. He heads the ball and scores, but we'll take that one either way. Up to nothing early here. I feel like I'm adjusting everything. I'm not used to. I'm not used to playing like this. I got my headphones in because obviously I, I can't have the TV volume in while I play. Otherwise, it'll show up on the mic. So I'm still getting used to this this little rigged up setup I have going here. Two nothing though. We'll take it. Jacko celebrates with his Yugoslavian. Is Croatia part of Yugoslavia? I believe it was right. Croatia and Bosnia. Both part of former Yugoslavia. Vecino. Vecino has the ball. Up top. Barella. We're all still talking about the same beautiful sport anyway, so... That's my rationale for it anyway. Barella. Whoa! Buries one in the corner. A goal's a goal, whether it's football or soccer. Buries it in the bottom corner. Nicolo Barella. This kid, I cannot wait to see this kid play with Sensi this year in the midfield. I think Inter, I don't know if they're really going to push Juve all the way. Some late rumors have come in about Neymar going to Juve, which at this point, I don't know whether Neymar, this sounds ridiculous to say, but I don't know whether Neymar would hurt or help Juve the way he's been the last couple years, but, oh, it took a deflection. I thought it looked weird the first time. We'll still take it. Conti's pumped. 3 nothing all day long, but I really hope Inter can, uh, I really hope Inter can push Juve all the way. Gonna cut back inside. Lucas. Correa. Caicedo. It's gonna go out for a corner. Brilliant team defending. Nowhere for Lazio to go on that one. Hey guys, let me know what you think of the quality of the green screen. Let me know if everything looks okay. It's kind of... I feel like it looks good enough for now, considering, like I said earlier, I literally have a piece of felt staple gun to the wall and it's not even a real green screen and I'm oh no Parolo buries one in the bottom while we're busy uh yakking away Parolo scores 3-1 we should still be able to hang in this oh that's all right anyway like I was saying um let me know how the quality looks I think it's okay I'm only using the Logitech you know that Logitech 920c cam that everyone uses so considering I'm only using a $50 camera and a piece of felt they I think it's pretty solid. The lighting is uh, just like, I don't even know what type of lights these are. They're just, you know, they're not they're not special green, green screen lights or high quality or anything like that. They're just typical LED lights. I bought it Lowe's. I don't know, if you guys don't know what Lowe's is, it's like Home Depot. I don't know what the equivalent of what you have is, but there's Jekko, Lukaku on the wing, Chiesa, one. Can we find a teammate? Lukaku, Jekko! 
Who is that, Jekko? It's a Brozovic, Brozovic thinks he's a center forward in this guy. Oh, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Brozovic is a street dancer. I had, no, I had no idea. He pulled his hip, he pulled his hip. Oh, he's okay, he's gonna make it, he's gonna make it. Jeez, it is freaking hot in here with all these lights on, guys. I don't, I, gla I keep adjusting my glasses and touching my face because my glasses are sliding down my nose. Probably take this flannel shirt off. It is hot. <laughs> Conte is pumped though about that 4-1. Four, four, Back post, Jekko! Can't get on the end of it. Vecino. Oh! Oh, does his defender. Oh, that was in the box. Is there a VAR? Is there a VAR? I know this is controversial, but I actually like VAR. I'd rather them look at the replays, honestly. It may, maybe it's not perfect right now, but in the long run, I'd rather have them double check it than not. But I'm kind of a double check type of person, so. Jekko's gonna step up. Let's see, can anyone else go ahead and take this penalty? You know what, Barella. Barella's actually better than Jekko at penalties. Let's give it to Barella. I think he already has a goal in this game, does he not? Top corner! Oh no! Stuffed! Absolutely stuffed! I think that's. I think we're 0 for 2 on penalties this year. Oh, I chickened out. I didn't hold it. I didn't hold it long enough. I chickened out. I didn't want to kick it over the bar. Let's see if we get a tone. Just get it in. Goalie doesn't come for it, and there it is. Jekko, the Bosnian bomber. Jekko. Beast of a man. Actually ended up, I was talking about this in the other episode, but I, I picked him up when it was like a sure thing. He was leaving Roma. And like I, I've said this a bunch of times for viewers, I'm a Roma fan, so I expected him to, I was already uh, made my peace with him leaving, but he signed on a contract extension, so hey, I guess we'll take him. In, that's why Inter's, uh, like I was talking about earlier, I guess Inter's going to keep a Cardi now, so see how that goes. Ah, uh, come on, bro. Samata. Oh no, we're so tired right now. No, Ravel Morrison. Oh, that is unfortunate. That's a big celebration for a guy losing 5 2, guy. Down the wing, Marisic. God, we are so tired of the shit. Son of a biatch. Oh my god. Suddenly it's 5 3. There is just no way. Luis Alberto. Oh man. Correra! Scrinyar! Oh no! Get it out! Get it out! Oh my god! So, holy shit! <laughs> I thought that was going in. Oh, Andonovich was beaten by five feet. Oh, I just took my headphone out for a second because it is pouring rain here, guys. Where I live, it is. This is lightning and thunder going on outside. Actually. Looks like the sun's finally coming back out. But it was pouring rain and lightning and thundering earlier, so. Thought it was. It's weird listening to it, having your headphones in. It's kind of. You can't hear anything else going on around you. I was like. I don't know if someone's breaking into my, my place. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna take that one. Five to three, I believe, was the final score. Absolutely smacking Lazio around. They pulled back a couple late ones as our players got really tired and fell apart defensively, but we will take that. 5-3. Alright guys, this is actually the second lineup I put in. I called them Scrubs. Uh, just, you know, joking around, but obviously they're not Scrubs. But this is my Scrub lineup. This is the second team. Got Milenkovic, Ronokia, Anderson in the back three. Dalbert and Versalico bring up the wings. Sensi, Gagliardini, Valero in the midfield. Martinez and Politano up front. I love using Politano. Or, uh, sorry, Martinez. How insulting to Politano, but I love using Martinez. I think he's really going to grow into something special in this game and in real life. But we're going to jump into this game versus Genoa. All right, guys, into this game versus Genoa. Later in the episode, we actually have Barca in the Champions League in the next match. I think that'll probably be the last match of this episode. Versalico early. Borja. Borja cuts inside. Left, right. Screws that one a mile wide. Borja. What are you doing, bro? That was awful. Oh! What is this? What is this? What are we doing? What the hell was that? Sensei! Sensei! 
Oh, I can't get it. Sensi is an excellent player, guys. I bet most of you haven't heard of him. Sensi, because he played on a small... Woo! Bullet by Gagliardini. I bet a lot of you haven't heard of Sensi, because he played on Sassuolo last year, who is uh, a smaller Italian team, but he's an excellent player. I've seen him play for the national team a few times, aside from playing for Sassuolo. He plays a lot like... Marco Verratti. I'm not saying he's he's necessarily that good, but he plays very similar to Marco Verratti. Politano deflects on one wide. He reads the game excellently. Has has a beautiful ball on him. Beautiful finesse. I can't wait to see him play with Barella in that Inter midfield this year. I hope Conte can really get the best out of those young kids. Anderson, it's a defender's touch if I've ever seen one. Over to Alito, wide open. Azamo oh Dalbert Dalbert What are you doing? That is brutal guy! That is absolutely brutal! Yeah, what the frickin' what what the smirk off your face? That is that is that is downright that is downright brutal if you ask mate. Politano Balaro Lataro Who is this Politano? Shift it under your left! Yes, he shoots and scores, finesses it into the bottom corner. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, oh come here. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> What's up, baby? This is, this is my dog, Lucy. This is her yapping away in the background because she wants to be uh, taken outside, but you can't go outside, bro, because it's pouring rain and it's lightning and thundering and you're scared of all three of those now get out of here one nothing I, I know buddy you guys can't see in the camera but she's scratching away on my leg I know buddy you can't go outside it's lightning and thundering you don't like lightning or thunder and you're a little dog and you're one inch from the ground and you get soaking wet when you go out in the rain and you don't like the rain anyway, bro. Yeah, I know, buddy. I'll take you out after this game. I really hope they can make it work, because it's just all-around terrible shot. It's just all-around great for Italian, for Calcio, uh, you know, in general, if the Milan teams are doing good. Wow, that is not even close. It didn't look that half bad at the end because of the uh, deflection. Ronok off the crossbar! Inside, outside, inside. Nowhere to go with it. Chips it back in. Politano, the shortest man on the pitch. The Interfaithful still believe. Politano. Sensi. Falls kindly. He shoots and scores. Goal. Jump kicks into the corner. Martinez must be a karate practitioner in his spare time. 2-0, Inter go up versus Genoa. The crowd goes nuts. I feel like I say this in every episode, but God, I hope I get to go to the San Siro one day, especially before they build the new one. I don't know what the timeline for that is or anything like that, but I really hope I get to go to the, the San Siro one day. Our defense, This young defensive line has actually helped up well and by young, I mean Anderson and Malenkovic. Ranocchia is 8,000 years old. La Padula! Oh! It's interesting, because if you guys remember, uh, both Bonucci and Ranocchia... Uh, well, that was a brutal pronunciation. Both Bonucci and Ranocchia were uh, at body together when they were in Serie A. And they were like the young up-and-coming, you know, center-back pairing. Like the next young studs in Italian, you know, football, soccer. And, uh... Ronocchia went to Inter, Bonucci went to Juve, and uh, Bonucci panned out, but Ronocchia, you know, never really did. He kind of did. I mean, he was solid for a few years, but he was supposed to be, you know, one of our next, you know, top defenders, too, and it never really worked out in full. There it is, guys, the group. We are actually not doing too bad. Look at that beautiful pageantry. I love the uh, San Siro pageantry. We just actually played Barca last episode, and we're already ticking them on again. There's Coutinho, recently moved on to Bayern. How do you guys think that'll work out? I'm curious about that. Let me know down in the comments, guys, down below. 
I'm pointing down below like you guys don't know the comments are down there like there might be some other place but let me know how you guys think Coutinho to Bayern's gonna go gonna gonna go down guys feel free I mean I'd rather you kind of talk about stuff that's in the video but feel free to leave a comment about anything you know related to football anything related to soccer anything like that because I'm, I'm happy to talk about it all day aside from gaming I watch I watch pretty much a little bit of every league I'm not one of those people that's like only has to watch certain leagues or teams like I love the great the beautiful thing about the game is there's great teams and players all over Europe and all over the world I mean the majority of them are concentrated in certain areas obviously but I I'm happy to talk about pretty much anything related to to the beautiful maybe instead of the soccer football thing I'll just call it the beautiful game from now on good enough calcio right I could call it that who cares like I said earlier we're all talking about the same the same thing but anyway we got our A team back in Jekko Lukaku Azamoa Vecino Brozovic Barella Chiesa Devraigorin Skriniar Handanovic we are solid all around I really like this team we've put together and by we I really mean the team Inter put together and then I just made the signings in the game <laughs> Minus Jekko, minus Chiesa. It sounds like Inter are going to make a run at Chiesa in the future. Just not now. It sounds like next summer they're going to make a real shot at him. I know the new Fiorentina owner, Rocco Camiso, just recently purchased Fiorentina this past year, was really adamant about keeping Chiesa. Was was talking about didn't want Chiesa to be his, uh, his Baggio. Because, uh, I mean, Baggio went on to play for like half the teams in Serie A, but... He was, a, he was with Fiorentina when he was kind of in his prime. And, uh... Oh, no! Give it away early! I gotta stop talking! So this is the problem when, you, when you're doing the commentary live. You start yakking away about this or that, and before you know it, you're not even... You're barely paying attention to the game itself anymore, but... Anyway, I was talking about, uh... Fiorentina let Baggio go young. And, uh... Camiso didn't want to make that same mistake with uh, with Chiesa. Well, I really got to concentrate a lot harder playing by. Oh, wide open! Come on, get there, get there, get there! Well, I got to concentrate way harder playing Barcelona than playing Genoa or Lazio, even for that matter. Back to that in a second. Chiesa again. Alba cuts way inside every single time. Wide open. Oh, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing? Jacko! Oh, over the net. I meant to go to the far side. He went near side. Let's see how close this really was. Just taking out of covered all the way. All right. Zovic again. Sees Jacko in some space. Far side. Chiesa. Pass it across. No. 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 Oh, that was it. That was the chance. Guy. That was a terrible touch. Messi going the other way. Oh. Broke my heart, Chiesa. Oh, no. Oh, man. That was it. Oh, we were caught in between two minds of shooting and passing. And in the end, just took a terrible touch and did nothing. Lukaku off the line. Brozovic. Get them in the mix. Get Just get their big bodies in the way. Oh, Andanovic! You beautiful man! Oh no! Skriniar, just get it anywhere! Messi. Oh, the ball roll. Oh! PK, known for stepping up in the box, almost just rinsed us with that. I don't know what that is from Chiesa right there. He is a winger after all. After all, not a defender. Could be it, Sensi! Azamoa, who is this? Brozovic, Brozovic, snipes one. Oof, behind, let's see. Nothing, nothing, 84th minute. Oh, can't get there, can't get there. Oh, got it, what a steal. Oh, no, oh, he shoots and scores. Yes, we are going through at Barcelona. In face. In your face! Oh, that felt so good. I thought I took it way too early. Where's my controller? Shit, son of a bitch. <laughs> I thought I took it too early. I don't know what was happening here. Lukaku, for some reason, whoever that was, Umtiti or 
Who was that? I can't tell. He's out of frame. I think it was OMTT while flying. But Lukaku took it early. I think taking it early beat Ter Stegen in the near corner. I screamed like a little girl. But I don't care. We don't care. We'll take that all day long. Lukaku, that is why we brought you in, son. That is why we brought you. Yeah, tap that Inter badge. one nothing in the 90th minute. Woo! In the, in the 93rd minute? Oh, all right. Get that out. of Just anywhere. Just anywhere. Just get it anywhere. Blow the whistle. Yes. 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 Thank you. We'll take that all day long. Thank That's right, Parasitch. So good. Oh, that felt good. All right, guys. This was a lot, this was a lot of fun commentating uh, this video, although I'm probably biased because that just happened. If Barca won, maybe I wouldn't be this psyched. But, uh, man, whew, I must be out of shape. Or just, it's really hot in here. One or the other. Anyway, guys, we will take that. one nothing. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with me. This is a lot of fun actually doing the commentary. I Let me know what the green screen looks like. I, I'm looking at the preview. It looks not too bad. Again, considering, guys, I'm using... Uh, a $50 webcam and a uh, pizza felt. I keep looking back, but it's green screen, so I don't know what I'm like. It's not like you guys could see that anyway, so, you know. I think it's not too bad, though. Uh, let me know what it looks like. Anyway, guys, go ahead and subscribe if you can. If you don't want to, that's cool, too. I still appreciate the viewership. Shoot, I'm getting a phone call from my wife. One second, guys. All right, guys, so we are... I am blind as shit without my glasses i need to get contacts one of these days enter so we are in we're actually that puts us level top of the group holy crap i just realized wow guys that was huge it is uh seven seven and seven going into the final two luckily we've already played barca twice so we have spurs and psv psv's out it's going to be between I wonder what the tiebreaker is. We have seven goals or six against, so one goal differential. Barca has three, but I guess we hold... I don't know what the tiebreaker comes down to there, because they have a better goal differential. We're one and one, so I don't know what the tie differ. I don't know how we're in first, but anyway, we'll take it, so we'll do that. Anyway, guys, that's the group. Let me see. Let me, let's give us a little preview for tomorrow. So it looks like tomorrow's episode is going to be Atalanta, who is a, one of the most exciting teams to watch in Serie A last year. If you, if you guys haven't seen them, because I know they're not exactly, you know, household outside of, outside of uh, you know, Serie A fans outside of Italy, but they were so fun to watch last year. Um, we got Frosinone down there, which we should, that should be a win. And then the highlight of the episode will be the Champions League clash with Spurs. That's going to be for all the marbles in all likelihood. Because Barca's probably going to beat PSV. Man, that is a huge game. I am sweating bullets over that. But after that, put some wind in our sails beating Barca 1-0 today. Um, let me know if you guys like this more long extended uh, format. I don't know how this is going to be after I edit it. Looks like we're at about an hour and 15 minutes of record time. So I'm assuming this will come out to like 20-25 minutes by the time I edit everything down. I don't want it to be too, too long. But anyway... Like I said earlier, guys, go ahead and subscribe if you can, because I'm really trying to grow this thing before FIFA 20 comes out. I'm going to be doing this every single day. Uh, thanks for stopping by, guys. Leave me a comment about whatever you want, I guess. Uh, see you tomorrow. Peace.